Hello class, we have reached the activity portion of today's lesson. Um, for our first activity, we will determine how much water is in one mole of water. What does a mole of water weigh and how many milliliters or ounces is the mass? We have no idea. Can you drink that amount? We also don't know, so we will test that. But first, Rachel will start us off with the calculations. Okay, so like we said, there is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles in every mole. So then obviously you know that there is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd water particles in one mole of water. And finding out the mass in grams, you know that hydrogen equals one gram and oxygen equals 16 grams. There's two hydrogens in water and one oxygen, so 16 plus two is 18 grams. I'm pretty sure this sounds very familiar. Did we learn this in class or something? No, 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 no. did we? <laughs> okay, so you know there's one milliliter in one gram and therefore, if there's 18 grams in water, there's going to be 18 milliliters of water as well. Yes, there will be. And the gram to ounce conversion, 18 grams is equal to about 0 0.6349 ounces. So, for our last question, can you, can drink, you drink this amount of water? We don't exactly know, so we're going to test it out. So here we go. We have carefully measured out one mole of H2O. And here we go. Let's test it. As you can see, Emma didn't die. She's alive. She drank it. You can drink it, too. I did not drown my intestines with water. You can drink it. It's possible. Hey, Mom. There you go.